I recently found a bunch of old animated cartoons that I made like well over 10 years ago. And today I'm gonna to take a look at the third one that I created. So this was gonna be part of a series. This was in the previous video that I did, I said that this was a concept that I created not only for my band, but to try and make an animated web series. And the first one was a music video that I made that had one of our songs that also was never released. This whole, the, these two have not been released. And this is the first and only episode that I did and they were all gonna be 30 seconds long. And this is what happens after the intro music video that I did. And there's actually dialogue in this one. So let's take a look at that. Just quiet down. It's gonna be fine. Fine? Look, I'll quiet down, but it's not going to be fine. You just killed Max, and I helped you hide his body. I know, I was there. So what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing? Yes, nothing. And if anyone asks, you've seen or heard nothing about Max for over a week, okay? Okay. There has to be a hundred other people who wanted him dead, too. No one could ever tie us to this. <laughs> so, obviously that's me doing all the voices. It's, I tried to do different voices, but as I'm listening to them, it just sounds like me talking like this. You know, like, higher, lower. Like, there's no real... I didn't come up with... I don't know. And I did the laugh at the end. <laughs> that actually kind of made me laugh. Ha. Huh. And much like the music version of this one, I have the original flash files that I animated so we can take a look at this and I can learn what I did. Because truthfully, I think I kind of like this one. It's too bad that I never pursued it. Let's dig around and see what I did with the files quick. Two of the things that apparently I learned that I now know were on this video. One, in the last video I said that I did a zoom in where it was difficult because I had to zoom in all the other layers individually and make them do that. Well, in this one, I do a zoom in here and it's only one thing on the layer, the background there. And if you double click into it, and this is what I was talking about, it's contained and there are three layers inside of it. And there's even a moving background layer right there, which is this fan at the top. So this, this fan will rotate to make it look like it's on. But if you come back, all I had to do was zoom in that one line and it's all, all the stuff is inside of it and it zooms with it. And that's kind of what I was trying to explain last time. Anyway, there's that. In this scene here, I wanna show another trick that I learned where instead of drawing each scene individually, I could create them into objects and reuse them. So I would hand draw all the scenes, lay out, but I would lay out different reusable objects that I could just drag into there. Let me show you what I mean. So here's the library and I have a folder for this guy right there. So if you look at the layers, I have the mouth layer, the eye layer, the head layer, like this is the way I separated them out. They were all just, there's the body. And I would put those all into place for each scene. So if you look at the mouth, you'll see on the head, I just have a little area where the goatee goes in and there's the mouth. Well, if I select that, what I would do is I have all these different mouth movements for each syllable or different different letters of the alphabet and I would reuse them. So right now he's going ooh, but let's say that's not what he's saying. So if I select this, delete it, I would just drag this on there and then he would be saying this mouth sound. Or if he's doing this, I would move to another frame, drag this there, and that's the sound he would be saying. And I would just reuse those over and over again. And for the most part, that's what I did with all of these. Like here's his actual, except for the in-betweens, I would actually animate, like here's him reacting. I've got that there. Or say there's another one where he does a double take. I've got this scene in between where he stretches and turns real fast. And then when he was done, I would place him with the regular objects that I had that I had already drawn. And that's the method that I did with this. And to me, I felt like it was a lot faster, or at least there was less drawing. There was less time 
drawing and scanning. I just created a bunch of different poses and different situations and then I would draw those, scan them in, and chop them up for parts. That sounds gross when you're talking about an actual body part, but still, that's what I did. These are characters. And then if I ever needed something beyond that, then I would actually animate it. And I know that now, and this is clearly where I started to learn that. You know, one thing I'd like to point out too is the guitar player that I was working with at the time who was involved in the music for the last cartoon, he drew the backgrounds in this. The scenes that were in it were of the interior and the exterior of a bar that we used to hang out called the Caribou. Looking back at these, I forgot that I had him do that for me. So it's fun to look back at the drawing that he did of this. I think I inked it though, because it kind of, I don't know why, but it's his drawing, but for some reason, the inking looks like mine. Even though it's 30 seconds long, I storyboarded it because I also did a dope sheet, which is like, you know, m marking where the hits and the voices are for the audio. So I had the audio, that I recorded first, and then I created a spreadsheet. I think I found some template or something like that where you could create the seconds based on the frame rate and do the voices that way. So I had the storyboards, the dope sheets, and then um, what else did I have? Oh, the bartender. He's just a repeating loop in the background while he's washing a cup. But the best part is, is I added in a sound effect where he goes fine and moves his chair back and the bartender goes and then moves back, which looking at it now, he does a little too fast. I think I did it at a different frame rate than the way the animation was shot. I did a pretty good job of cataloging this one. I'm so horrible at doing that. All my files, I'm like, I'll create a folder and then I'll put stuff in it and then I'm gonna organize it later. And I'm like, that's future Tom's problem and I hate that guy. And I never do. This one's actually looking back, I'm like, I'm now future Tom going, thank you, past Tom. Oh, I think I referenced that last video. Funny. And so that is the end and only episode that I did from this series. I did the music video, then I did episode one, and then I stopped. I don't remember why. I want to say it's because I was an at-home dad at this time. Nope, because I did more cartoons after this. I don't know why I stopped this one. I kind of like it. I don't know. I still don't know what the storyline would be. But uh, next time I'm going to take a look at another series that I did that starred my son Dexter. And this was also one where I did three parts and I actually finished it. And we'll take a look at that next time.